Hello everyone, welcome to the next lecture on the probability and stat. Today we will discuss the fourth lecture on the ordered statistics. In this lecture we will see what is the how the conditional probability calculate for this ordered stat. Myself, Dr. Gurk, working in the School of Mathematics, Thapar Institute, India. You can simply follow this link for finding the various videos on probability and statistics. So what we have discussed in the last lecture is why uh, that is uh, what, how you can calculate the joint density function between the ordered pair xi and xj provided j is less than is here and cj beta function this is a j of here which we have discussed here why there is a need of joint density function here because our target is to find the conditional probability so how, what is the definition of this this is nothing but my here upon this so what is that this uh, the numerator part is called as the joint density function denominator part is the marginal density function so our first target is to compute the joint uh, density function with the help of this formula and then we can compute the marginal density function by using the integration. So let's see how we can solve them. So if you have the order statistics of the random sample of size 4 is x1, x2, xn, xn having the pdf is given to be here. Then you have to find the conditional pdf of x3 provided x4 is given as a some value is there. So how you can find that? That's a very again simple and after that you have to find its mean value. That's a very simple how you can solve them. That's the by, by the definition of the conditional probability. This is nothing but x comma y upon f of y. So the same for here. Now in this case this is my y, this is my xr. So this our first target is to compute the joint density function of this part. How you can compute the density function? I can consider i as a 3 j as a 4 in the given formula. So we know that the joint density function is given here. What is the f of x is the pdf. What is the capital fx is my cdf. This small fx is my pdf. So here firstly we can calculate the cdf. What is the definition of the cdf is here. So how you can integrate them its lower limit is my 0. 0 to x of 2x dx. So what is that this is nothing but my x square. So if I substitute here, if I consider i as my 3, j is my 4, why i 3 and 4? Because our target is to find 3 and 4. So I consider i and 3, j is 4, so what will happen? So if you substitute here, what is the value of this is n is my 4, because the size of the 4, j is my 4, j upon beta function of i, j minus 1. What is the pdf? Is my 2x. So I can substitute 1 by 1 here. This is my corresponding to x3. So it is my 2x3. This is my 2y, uh, 2x4. i minus 1. i is my 3. So 3 minus 1 is 2. So the CDF I computed as x3. x square. So it is here. What is that? This is j minus i minus 1. This is my 4 minus 3 minus 1. It's a 0. So anything power 0 is 1 n minus j that's a 4 minus 4 anything power 0 is 1 so I can write like here. So what is that how you can solve the beta function of a comma b that is nothing but my gamma function of a gamma function of b upon a plus b or you can see that if they are integers then you can write like a minus 1 b minus 1 and so on that is here. Now what is the gamma function of 3 is nothing but the 2 factorial 1 is 0 factorial gamma function of 4 is my 3 factorial. So after the calculation what you get is you will get the 48x5 here. Now uh, another thing is uh, this is now we want the marginal density function of the x4. So this is the joint density function. We can compute the marginal density function is over the integration x cube. So what is the limit of the x cube are there? So x3 is, x3 is from 0 to x4. This is the marginal density function of x4. So what is that? You can substitute the values are there. So with respect to x3, so x4 is common. This is outside. So what is that? This is x6 upon 6 from 0 to x4. So what is that? This 6 will be cancelled out. 8 x4, x4 raised to power 6. So 8 x raised to power 7 is my here. Now you can substitute this value in the given equations. This is here. So this 8 will be cancelled out. x4 will be cancelled out. So 6x cube 5 upon x4 is the required answer of this conditional probability. How you can find the expected value? So we all know that how you can find this expected value is this is the 
conditional probability and since we need to find the expected value of the x so we have to multiply this by x now here we how you find these values this is x3 into conditional probability of the x3 with respect to x4 over here so what is that this if we already computed what is the limit of the x3 x3 is from 0 to x4 we can take like here substitute this value as of here now you can integrate them with respect to x3 so this part is constant which is outside 6 is outside so what is that this is x3 raised to power 6 so the integration is 0 7 are there now you can see the answer is my 6 by 7 of this is the right answer since x4 is already known to you that's why this is in the form of x4 look at one more examples are there so if i consider the three random samples of the here do you remember that which distribution is there yes this is nothing but my uniform distribution then you have to find the conditional probability density function of the x2 and x3 again but how you can do that you can do like this way so it means your target is to find firstly the joint density function of the x2 and x3 and from them you can find the marginal so again we can use here what i can take is i is my 2 j is my 3 but i need the f of x so i can firstly compute the f of x as of this this is from 0 to x of 1 dx that is nothing but my x or otherwise we all know that in, in case of the uniform distribution what is the cdf of this x minus a upon b minus a here a is my 0 b is my 1 so what is that this is x minus 0 upon 1 minus 0 you can see the same thing r here you can substitute the value here this value is my 1 this value is my 1 i minus 1 i is my 2 so this value is my 1 so f of x is my x what is that i j minus i j minus i minus 1 again it's a 0 so anything power 0 is 1 n minus j n is my 3 samples so 3 minus j 3 minus 3 is 0 so again we can solve like here what is that again you can solve this gamma function there this is nothing but my 1 factorial 0 factorial 2 factorial so it will be cancel out you will get the here now based on this you can find the marginal density function of the f3 now with respect to x uh, we can find the marginal of the x3 collection of all those elements of the x2 from 0 to x3 so since this is x2 so it can be integrate them 6 is outside x2 square upon 2 from 0 to x3 so this will be cancel out 3 r you can substitute this value finally in this expression you will get the right answer so what is that this is nothing but my 6 x2 divided by 3 x3 square is the right answer of this problem or you can see this will be cancelled so this is the way you can solve the conditional density function of the ordered statistics so with the help of this we can see our next class on the how you can find the correlation coefficients with the ordered statistics till then you can simply follow this link for finding the various videos best of luck students happy learning